SVG TV News headlines sponsored in part by Flo. Flo is bringing you the best Christmas deal. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the CTE Blade A3 Lite for $99 with a 7-day always-on plan purchase. Plus, get a free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s at $149 plus a medium postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk, talk, and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flo, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. In the headlines, Celebrity Silhouette makes inaugural call to Port Kingston. CEO of Tourism Authority says it's part of ongoing efforts to attract more cruise liners to SVG. Dominica Prime Minister sworn into office for a fourth consecutive term as opposition party says it will not recognize election results. India's new citizenship amendment bill sparks uproar. And in sports, Simon anchors chase as West Indies level T20 International Series against India. These and other stories coming up in SVG TV's Evening News and Sports. That was the news headline sponsored in part by Flo. Flo is bringing you the best Christmas deal. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the CTE Blade A3 Lite for $99 with a 7-day always-on plan purchase. Plus, get a free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s at $149 plus a medium postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk, talk, and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flo, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Good evening and welcome to SVG TV News and Sports for Monday, December 9th, 2019. I am Yvesse Bones with the details. Six Vincentians were among 26 officers who have successfully completed training under the Regional Security Training Institute Basic Law Enforcement Course 2019, along with 23 other officers from other member states. The officers underwent rigorous physical and comprehensive theoretical training here and in Barbados. Larissa Pugsley Kid has more about the graduation ceremony held last Friday at the police training school. The 26 officers who successfully completed the RSS training course are now better equipped to carry out their duties after weeks of intense training which started in September this year. These officers, which include six Vincentians, graduated on Friday at a ceremony held at the police station training school at Newmont Rose. Some of the courses covered under the training program were map reading, internal security, disaster management, field craft, first aid, tactics, and shooting. One of the trainers, Warrant Officer Class 2 Azard Weeks, noted that a major component of the course had to do with physical training and weapon handling. We're exposed to the techniques of handling the M16 rifle and 9mm pistol. They were assessed to confirm that they are competent to fire these weapons on the range. Range, join the range exercises, pistol shooting and M16 rifle elementary and advanced shooting were done. Members of the course were also introduced to the .45 millimeter pistol, the .38 millimeter revolver, and shotgun. Officer Weeks urged the graduates to reflect on their accomplishments and to not forget the skills learned. Deputy Executive Director of the Regional Security System, Graham Archer, reminded the officers of what it means to be part of the Regional Security System. Part of the RSS mechanism. You are the RSS not RSS headquarters, that is just the coordinating body, but you are part and parcel of the RSS system itself. And you must always see yourselves that way, advocate yourself that way, and work for the good of all of us in the region. Thank you. The RSS course 2019 was funded by the International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Agency, U.S. Embassy in Barbados, and its director, Janet Jurek, emphasized the need to continue with such courses in the region. This one, our significant way Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean can stay prepared for evolving security challenges. As mentioned before, while this course may be called basic, it's anything but. 
It is a critical foundation for law enforcement in this region. Minister of National Security Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez outlined the role of the RSS and its importance to member states. In the prevention and interdiction of the traffic in illegal narcotic drugs, in national emergencies, search and rescue, immigration control, fisheries protection, customs and excise, maritime policing duties, natural and other disasters. At Friday's graduation ceremony, two officers with the RS Beach Police Force copped two awards. The award for best mapping was captured by Police Constable Salvanas Johnson and for best rifle shot, Delwyn Delpesh. Jamal Edwards of Incension, representing the Royal St. Christopher and Nevis Police Force, was awarded Best Student and was also awarded the Most Physical Male Officer. I say, no more, I will deal with that, Sergeant Charles remarks, and the deal, jump and give me a hundred push-ups. Just memories of the wonderful course and the great friends we have made. My fellow student, big engine! For SBG TV News, Larissa Pogsley Kid. SBG was among the six member countries of the regional security system, the RSS, at the request of the Dominican authorities to dispatch law enforcement personnel to Dominica leading up to last Friday's general election. The officers were sent in to help maintain law and order, with mounting unrest in the run up to Friday's general election, with protesters blocking roads and setting obstacles on fire calling for electoral reform. At Friday's graduation ceremony for the officers who have successfully completed the RSS training course, Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez defended his government's decision in joining the other RSS member states to send troops to Dominica. There was an assessment that there's a threat to security in Dominica and there's a threat to democratic institutions. The professional staff of the RSS, in, consultant, in consultation with the chairman of the RSS and the chairmanship rotates, and in consultation with the chiefs of police, commissioners of police, and the ministers of national security or prime minister say well they are asking for so many policemen and women and when you go to Dominica you go there to help to keep the peace keep order and do the things what every police person by law, can do. PM Gonzalez did not state how many officers were deployed. However, he said that as a member of the RSS, SBG is obligated to support another member state whose security is under threat. And in the case of Dominica, the country's security was under threat. Which are jaundiced. <coughs> but you cannot play games with the issue of national security and threats or potential threats to our democratic institutions. You can't play games with them. Because I tell you this, the first obligation of any state is to provide security within a system of laws passed by a democratic parliament. If you don't have that, you have chaos and life becomes nasty, brutish and short. And it's the law of the jungle and it's survival of the fittest. PM Gonzalez noted that SVG deployed troops to Dominica after Maria devastated the island in 2017 and sending troops to keep the peace for the elections was no different. So I hear the talk 
But why is it that Ralph Gonzalez sends St. Vincent and the Grenadines police to Dominica? That I send police to help scare it to win election? <laughs> eh? I don't know who people voting for. And what St. Vincent police or Grenada police or St. Lucia or Barbados police have to do in Dominica business? Well, your parliament say we have something to do with it? One for all and all for one. But I ask those people this question. What about two years ago? When you had this devastating hurricane which blew down the whole of Dominica. Chief Executive Officer of the SVG Tourism Authority, Glen Beach, said the country's tourism industry continues to grow and there is ongoing work to make the industry the best it can be. Beach was speaking with SVG TV News about the inaugural call of the Celebrity Silhouette cruise ship to Port Kingstown today. The ship came in at full capacity with over 2,000 passengers from North America and the United Kingdom. Beach said so far the reviews from the captain and passengers have been positive. Inaugural calls are always important. I mean, um, you're welcoming a new, pro uh, a new ship. First time they've been here, we went on and exchanged plaques with, with them today. So the captain and um, the chief chef and the hotel manager, all of them, it was the first time they've been here. Um, judging from, the, from what they've seen, they like it. And we're hoping that uh, when their guests go back on board, they have nothing but great things to, to report on Simon and the Grandines. I think for this cruise ship season, they have about two or three more calls, two more before they go into dry dock, and then one more after after dry dock i think their next visit here is something like november 30th or something like that so we continue to push the the cruise ship industry like every other part of the tourism business and to to get the most out of it as the destination continues to grow and and as more attention is paid to same inside the grand means it makes our jobs a bit easier because then there's an awareness of what the product is an awareness of what the product has to offer so keep on trucking ahead so to speak right Two other ships are expected to make inaugural calls to the destination. Beach said the authority will continue to play a role in ensuring that standards are maintained to help facilitate the growth of the industry. Word of mouth is always the best way of, of marketing, so the passengers hopefully have good things to say, and, and the crew is also very important in terms of word of mouth with the company on a whole to say, you know what, St. Vincent and the Grenadines was a d good destination. We should probably make more calls there next year. So look forward to bigger and better things. This season is not looking too bad so far. Always room for improvement. Uh, last year, I think we had more calls to Beckway than to St. Vincent. This year, I think it's more calls to St. Vincent to, than to Beckway. That is not really of importance. Though so once they come into St. Vincent and the Grenadines, that's what really, that's what really counts, and we give them the best experience. And that's why we continue, why our standards play such an important role, and continue to push that with the tour operators, tour guides, taxi drive, taxi drivers, um, hoteliers, everybody within the industry that it is so important to be at our best when these things happen and not take anything for granted. Despite the growth in the industry, getting ships to come during the off-season remains a challenge even for larger cruise destinations and Beach believes a multi-island partnership can bear fruit in this regard. We go out there, we promote the destination, we, we speak to the, the cruise lines to see if if it's um, if they're able to make it this far south. Because that, and I've said this before, that's one of the issues with a destination like St. Vincent and the Grandines, is that we're so far south. Um, most of these ships, their home port is Florida, somewhere in Florida, or Puerto Rico, or even a bit further up north, some of them. Uh, might be a bit further up north. So it, it's difficult, and you might say, but that's not the case because Barbados is there. But Barbados has been in this industry a lot longer than we have. They, um, they've they put their footprint there a lot faster than we did. Uh, when we were focusing mainly on agriculture and so on, Barbados, tourism was their aspect. So they're, they're a lot... Um, 
more experienced in it and experience might not even be the right word they have a lot more longevity in it and like everything else in marketing it's best to be first on on the scene so it, it becomes difficult but Barbados is also suffering from the off season also in terms of wanting to get more ships in and so if we can put a package together between ourselves Barbados St. Lucia and one other destination then we think we 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 have something unique that we can offer them a 40-year-old man of Byra is expected to challenge Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzalez for the North Central Windward seat at the next general elections on the ticket of the opposition New Democratic Party, NDP. A news release from the NDP stated that Chieftain Neptune was unanimously nominated on Saturday to contest the seat and that his nomination will be taken before the party's Central Committee for Final Ramification at which time Neptune would officially become the candidate for the NDP. Neptune recently graduated from the University of the West Indies St. Augustine Campus Trinidad with a Bachelor's of Science in Criminology and Criminal Justice and a minor in Political Science and International Relations. The NDP said that Neptune has received the full support of the party's last candidate in North Central Windward, former educator Kenroy Johnson. In his acceptance remarks, Neptune said he was honored and happy to have been nominated and was overwhelmed at the support from the people of North Central Windward. Neptune's nomination will now be taken to the Central Committee of the NDP for final ratification. SVG Community Performing Arts Club captures best production for 2019 National Theatre Arts Drama Festival. This and other stories coming up when we return with more local news. Stay with us. The local news sponsored in part by Flo. Flo is bringing you the best Christmas deal. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $99 with a 7-day always-on plan purchase. Plus, get a free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s at $149 plus a medium postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk, talk, and talk this holiday. So this Christmas, get the latest phones at the best prices on the fastest network. Because with Flo, Christmas only gets better. Visit discoverflow.co. Terms and conditions apply. Sea Star Limited is now located on the third floor of the first St. Vincent Bank building. They have extended their range of products and furniture, including patio sets, closets, shoe casing, beds and mattresses, TV cabinets, and kitchen cupboards, just to name a few of their luxurious pieces, all at unbelievable prices. Don't just take my word for it. Check them out upstairs the first St. Vincent Bank building. And don't forget, they still have the best in windows, doors, burglar bars, rails, and and vanities see star limited where quality and style is our motto a funeral service should be one that you can be proud of one that leaves lasting memories of your loved ones and that's where you need the new haven funeral home we are proud of the quality and class we have brought to the industry we are proud for having trained the very first certified embalmers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are proud of leading the way in terms of live streaming of funerals online so that your family members overseas could also be part of the celebration of life. We are constantly improving our services. We are driven by customer satisfaction and we are proud of all that we do. New Haven Funeral Home. Breaking news! The greatest tile sale in the history of St. Vincent is back! With more, here's Thin Setment Rowdy Face. Thanks, Juan! Yes, free tiles for Christmas is back at Island Style Interiors, and there's real excitement in the air. Get this, buy 100 tiles at the regular price and get up to the next 25 tiles absolutely free! Wow, that is a great deal! Sure is, Juan! My wife's making me buy tiles right now before they sell out. Uh, Vincent? Oh well, this is one cool guy signing off. And heading to Island Style in Arnos Vale for free tiles! Wait for me! Yay!
Kidney disease is a growing concern around the world and here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Chronic kidney disease is a life-threatening condition which occurs when a person's kidneys are no longer able to clean the toxins and waste products from the blood or perform other kidney functions normally. When this happens, a person needs dialysis. Dialysis is where a machine takes over the function of the kidney and safely removes the poisonous waste from the blood. Since 2012, Health Solutions Inc. has operated a full-service hemodialysis facility in SVG that offers state-of-the-art equipment, courteous, well-trained staff, and a comfortable treatment environment. We're encouraging for early detection. Anyone who is either diabetic or hypertensive and has any questions or concerns, please contact us at 784-451-2836 or visit us at www.healthsolutionssvg.org I think I have enough lumber for the fence. Just hope I have enough sawbits at home. Well, you don't need more lumber, but you do need some galvanized nails. And maybe grab some sawbits just in case. For all your hardware needs and the best customer service, Lanes, the family store for value. There's a reason you get up on a morning. A reason you pick yourself up, start the day. Maybe it's because you know people like you are waiting for people just like you. For Republic Bank, that reason is you. It's all about making a difference in your life. Because after 182 years, if it's one thing we're sure about, is that the difference is you. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. Leo Experience. We cater for all of your psychological needs. We promote holistic wellness, balancing the mind, body, and spirit. I am Dr. Giselle Miller, CEO and founder of the Valeo Experience. Contact us today. We are willing and ready to serve you. It's 12 days of amazing deals this Christmas at Quartz Optical. Get different offers on chic and fabulous styles every week when you shop. Get Prada, Lacoste, Michael Kors, Toscana, Carolina Herrera, Converse, and much more. And with Ready Finance, you'll get it today and pay absolutely nothing until March 2020. It's 12 days of amazing deals this Christmas. Only at Quartz Optical. Value you can see. Special conditions apply. Welcome back. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines Community College Performing Arts Society captured the best production for the 2019 National Theatre Arts Festival. Spirit of the Festival and the Best Actress was awarded to Jacintha Edwards of the Regis Theatre Alliance. Best Original Playwright and Best Actress in Supporting Role was awarded to Nisha Hope. Best Actresses and Best Best Actress and Best Actor were awarded to two students of the Community College Performing Arts Society. The Best Director went to David Darkey Williams of Urban Expression. Speaking at the award ceremony, Minister of Sport and Culture Cecil Sesmaki said the annual Performing Arts Festival provides participating theatre groups and individuals the opportunity to promote SVG's culture and develop their talent. And as we bring more persons to the destination, as more flights come in from the international cities, um, we want to have the opportunity to expose them to the culture of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And this is one of the ways in which we can do it. We have established a, a cultural officer um, that is responsible for a development of the the, the, the professional and business aspect of, of, of theater, arts, and culture generally. That is Mr. Rodney Small, he has an assistant. And in so doing, we'll have these persons and other persons from the ministry work along with these groups to further develop their skills in theater and the arts. This evening, I want to congratulate all of the individuals and groups. Minister Mackey said the festival is also important to the country's tourism sector. 
groups participating this year and we also ran alongside our national festival the schools aspect of drama and therefore we had over 300 persons involved in that process over the past couple of weeks. Now this is a very important part of the development of the cultural sector because we cannot just focus on one aspect of culture and think that we are doing enough. This gives the persons who are involved in theater uh, the opportunity not only to perform in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but also to travel regionally and be involved in theater as well. And it gives us the opportunity to bring persons from the region to appear on stage so that we can look at what is happening in the other islands and also use that as a, a, as a, a, a springboard. Representative of the main sponsor, Bank of SVG, Nandi Morgan, congratulated all of the participating groups, noting that over the six-week period, the groups performed credibly well. However, there is still room for development. I thank you, the audience, for supporting the groups. Of course, we would have liked to see more persons turning out to look at the productions, but nevertheless, from my observation, it would appear that persons who attended would have enjoyed the performances thoroughly. I would have been able to attend five of the six performances and I can assure you the groups performed credibly. Of course, there are areas for development and that will come over time with um, training workshops and um, practice. Now, the Bank of St. Vincent and the Grenadines has been sponsoring the festival for 13 years now. And we have built a relationship, a very good relationship with the Ministry of Culture. You can therefore look forward to our continued contribution towards the further development of the festival and arts in general. With the Christmas season now upon us, Lecturer at the Division of Technical Vocational Education at the SVG Community College, Mishka Edwards, says there are many avenues through which farmers can earn some extra cash for the season. At a recently held session, Edwards educated farmers on the many ways they can add value to their products to capitalize on sales during the season. Any sort of research. Today I was just telling my students them about sorrel sauce, something that we can actually do because Vincentians, we always adopt different cultures. I mean, we celebrate in Thanksgiving. Could you believe that? That's not something that we normally celebrate. We are our worst enemy, but at the same time, because we are celebrating things like Thanksgiving and Halloween, it creates an opportunity for a market for us to tap into because you have to focus on the trends. When you focus on the trends, then you can be able to know what product to produce, right? So I was telling my students today, seeing that everybody wants to start celebrating Thanksgiving in St. Vincent, one of the things that is closer to cranberry sauce is sorrel sauce. So why not a student create a sorrel sauce for the market, tap into the hotels or restaurants who are producing, who are um, have hosting this Thanksgiving dinner as a way to market their product, um, that, that product. Drying and dehydration are simple value-added techniques which can be applied to fruits and other food products. And Edward said these simple techniques can also be used to create new products for the season. Simple value addition techniques. Simple value addition techniques are things such as dehydrating. So you dehydrate the fruits into chips. I'm um, sorry, the ground provision into chips and you could ground it into flour. You can dehydrate fruits. Within a recent, I don't know how much you all shop at Massey, but last week I went to Massey and I see dehydrated mango, but it was imported. We have so much mango here, but they brought in dehydrated mango, dehydrated pepper, dehydrated pineapple for the, Christ the people who's going to bake for Christmas. But we have all these fruits here and we don't dehydrate any. So simple um, value add addition techniques, you have dehydration, um, preservation by salting, heating, sugar, alcohol, freezing. These are simple. You do, we can do our own ham, salting. We're doing cornfish. I mean, cornfish is something that is not that popular like long ago. Growing up, I grew up eating cornfish. Hardly, you can hardly find anybody doing cornfish now. And if you individually find doing cornfish, they're selling it for $16 and $17 a pound. 
The lecturer said while SVG lacks a processing plant, farmers can start small and grow their business. Thing, because you don't know about the um, different technologies and also we have poor infrastructure. We have no processing um, facility that you can actually leave and go spend on this. Let's say we're going to make coconut oil. We go to a processing facility, make coconut oil, and then return home. We have no access to any sort of these facilities. But we must begin somewhere. So start where you are. Start with the kitchen. Just start there. Start producing small, and you will grow from there. Whatever income you have, you keep adding, and then you may be able to extend after. Dominica's Prime Minister sworn into office for a fourth consecutive term. As opposition party says, it will not recognize election results. This from the region when we return. Stay with us. That was a local news segment. The Ever Ready Funeral Home at French's is your friend in times of grief. With over 40 years experience, they are prepared to take care of all your funeral arrangements. Embalming, lowering device service, grave mattresses, carpeting, vaults, tombs and wreaths. Arrangements for television obituaries. Cremation is available upon request. Ever Ready Funeral Home offers the finest in caskets and coffins local and imported. So, in your time of need, call Everetti Funeral Home at any time. 456-1494 Everetti Funeral Home. Offering service above self. Drink today, juicy, juicy, the same great taste, juicy, juicy, the original drink, it's a minty thing. Get your red and banana, pineapple, juicy cola, orange or apple, juicy for you and for your neighbor, it's a minty thing. Enjoy it juicy, the original Vinci thing. Juicy! This holiday season, it's the perfect time of the year to spend with the ones you love and show them exactly how you feel. Making the most of the season. So where do you find all you need to make this season the best one ever? It's Quartz, actually. Bringing value home. Moses and Vincent and the Grenadines, this is VJs. We want to thank you for your support over the last 40 years and we look forward to seeing you for many more years to come. Merry Christmas from the management and staff of VJs Restaurant and Bar. You know those nights? They're the nights that become day. Full of dancing and howling at the moon. And there's some kind of magic in those nights. They're the nights that remind us what it means to connect. The nights that teach us how to leave everything behind and live for the moment. They're the nights that memories are made of. Yeah, you know those nights. Those are absolute nights. The body moves in many expressive ways. The freedom of movement is often taken for granted until that freedom is restricted by pain. Maya's Pain Kill Gel is scientifically formulated to alleviate muscle and joint inflammation. With this gel, you can target the pain in areas where it's needed the most. Bring the joy of movement back into your life with Maya's Pain Kill Gel. Available at leading stores and pharmacies in SVG. The health of your eyes greatly impacts your daily life from driving, watching television to texting. At Imperial Optical Inc., we promise you the best in eye care. Our trained staff, in-house ophthalmologists, optometrists, full-service lab and optical boutique position us to cater to your entire eye care. Understanding your needs and how to meet them, whether you require routine eye examination, prescription glasses, contact lenses, or sunglasses. You can choose from a wide range of designer frames at affordable prices and be greeted with 
excellent customer service in an inviting atmosphere when you visit us opposite the Anglican Cathedral on 58 Granville Street, Mondays to Fridays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., where your vision is our mission. Telephone 456-1882, fax 456-2205. Range of furniture, right here at Singer. Affordable beds and mattresses, right here at Singer. Washing machines to make your laundry clean and fresh. Singer is a family store that gives you the best, the best higher purchase deal. Right here at Singer. We'll outfit your home, right here at Singer. Right. The number one family store. It's us with Singer. The regional news segment sponsored by Massey Stores SVG Limited. Festive holiday joy is flowing early this year. Have yourself a merry little Massey Christmas. Enter with every $50 spent and you can win amazing prizes such as a luxurious, comfortable, and ultimately relaxing cruise for two with all-inclusive paid flight. Set sail to explore and discover the beautiful gems of the Caribbean. One island at a time. Bon voyage and travel in style and sophistication. Upward a majestic cruise of a lifetime. Time. And wait, there's more! This Christmas, exciting prizes, such as a shopping spree with the value of $500. But don't worry, consolation prizes include weekly ham and turkey giveaways. Check out our Facebook page for more chances to win. See press and in store for more details. Happy Holidays from Massey Stores, our family serving your family. Welcome to our news from the region. Dominica's Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt has been sworn into office following his party's landslide victory at the polls on Friday, December 6. President Charles Savarin administered the oath of office of Prime Minister and the oath of allegiance. The Dominica's Labour Party, led the Dominica Labour Party, led by Skerritt, took 18 of the 21 constituencies that were up for grabs. The opposition United Workers' Party, led by Lennox Linton, won only three constituencies. Complaining that the December 6 elections were rigged, Linton said his party would not recognize the results of the polls and is calling for fresh general elections. We hear more in this report. They came here to hear just one word, fraud. These were supposed to be their allies, the Organization of American States Observers. Behind all this, there was the vivid memory of Bolivia, where a lightning coup of state was based exclusively on an OAS preliminary report. But in Dominica, they were prepared. Here, with just around 30,000 voters, it was impossible to claim fraud without accurate evidence. Astonished, the bad losers turned into rage. The question I'm asking is this. What is the validity of these elections? And will you say something about whether these elections are valid or not? Major recommendations that were made that you should be looking at and make recommendations to address those two problems. One by one, the electoral missions discarded all complaints. We are here to tell you that we observed the electoral process and that we are satisfied that on election day the people who voted, their votes reflected the will of those who voted. In concluding, it is our considered view that the results reflect the collective will of the people who voted and that the 6th December election was conducted in accordance with the laws of Dominica. Our team visited 200 of the 15 polling stations and none of our members reported any irregularities. After a problem-free polling day, because of these situations, we asked party agents whether they had any observation, complaint, or something to say, and they all said they had no complaints, and that everything was fine. This did not prevent the right-wing candidate from going on with his regime change script, even though walking 
on moving sands. We, we are saying to the people of Dominica, we need now to demand fresh elections because as far as we're concerned, this illegitimate result renders the election null and void and it renders the government null and void. We will not recognize this government. It was this kind of order and tidiness, even in a rural community like this, what neutralized any attempt to delegitimize the process. There was no single complaint from polling stations. Dominicans are a peaceful and religious people, mixing politics, religion, music, and dance. A striking contrast with the opposition calls for war prior to the election day. We will not hypocritically talk peace when the justice of the people of Dominica is being injured and when the rights of the people of Dominica are being set aside. On Friday 6, ballot boxes arrive for the final count and Dominica's map gradually turns into labor red. Party members began celebrating early. The Prime Minister wasted no time in addressing the nation to prevent last-minute surprises. In communities, families, and at the national level, there must, from tonight, be peace. The essential healing and rebuilding from the events of the last few weeks can only take place in an atmosphere of restraint, respect, and calm. Barbados's Prime Minister Mia Mosley said it is time that Caribbean and African people get to know each other. Mosley was addressing political and business leaders of the African, Caribbean and Pacific Group at a high-level business forum on the weekend. She was speaking at the second full day of an official visit to Kenya ahead of the official opening of the ACP summit in Nairobi. Knowing about each other means that we are likely to continue our habits to trade north. Knowing each other means that we are likely to take down the walls and to begin to understand the values and the challenges that confront each of us and by extension to see the entrepreneurial opportunities that may be av available to build prosperity among our people. And it can't just simply be about providing jobs. It has to be also about economic enfranchisement, creating a basis for ownership among our people, because that is the only way it is going to be sustainable. India's new citizenship amendment bill sparks of raw. This from the international scene when we return. Stay with us. That was a regional news segment sponsored by Massey Stores SVG Limited. Yeah. festive holiday joy is flowing early this year. Have yourself a merry little Massey Christmas. Enter with every $50 spent and you can win amazing prizes such as a luxurious comfortable and ultimately relaxing cruise for two with all inclusive paid flight. Set sail to explore and discover the beautiful gems of the Caribbean one island at a time. Bon voyage and travel in style and sophistication. Upward a majestic cruise of a lifetime Time. And wait, there's more! This Christmas, exciting prizes such as a shopping spree with the value of $500. But don't worry, consolation prizes include weekly ham and turkey giveaways. Check out our Facebook page for more chances to win. See press and in store for more details. Happy holidays from Massey Stores, our family serving your family. We. Oui at SAP Shipping Agency send you the greatest holiday wishes. Words cannot express our gratitude to you for being such a loyal customer. It is our sincere hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. We thank you for your loyalty to our business and we look forward to serving you in the new year. We wish everyone a safe and jolly holiday season. Wanted, men and women for true scotch, to dirty their hands with endeavor, not speculation. Comradeship essential. Courageous men and women, to uphold over 160 years of tradition, to make the most awarded blended scotch in history. This is true scotch. 
Join us. View us. Welcome to Finishing and Furnishing, where a warm and friendly staff awaits you. At Finishing and Furnishing, you feel like you're in a home away from home. You will find a wide range of bedroom, living room, and appliances displayed in a stunning setting. When dealing with furniture, you need to take into consideration the colors of your room. That's why at our Penta Studio, we supply the best in interior and exterior paints. Have wooden furniture? Well, we also have stains, sealers, liqueurs to get that matte or gloss finish of your your desire. So give us a call at 457-2206 and come on down to Finishing and Furnishing today and start building the home of your dreams. For that special occasion, say it with a gift from Echoes Jewelry and Gift Shop. Choose from our gold and silver jewelry, durable watches from Seiko, Citizen and Pulsar brands, gift wrap a perfume, cologne or any of our leather goods. Our crystal wear collection, like all of our products, are unique in every way. Echoes Jewelry and Gift Shop, jewelry and so much more. or loss of life in your family could come as a shock. That's why it's important to always focus on the things that made you happy and the memories that you shared. At Memorial Funeral Home, our warm and friendly staff ensures that your experience is a pleasant one. Our sensitive staff is understanding, caring, and all-knowing when it comes to selecting your underground furniture and the things that you need to celebrate life. Well, I am a furniture manufacturer and I manufacture furniture furniture for all purposes. At this time, I am interested in manufacturing some underground furniture. You can purchase these underground furniture at the Memorial Funeral Home in Mexico. So call us at 458-8888 or 530-5694 and let's celebrate life. It's 12 days of amazing deals this Christmas at Quartz Optical. Get different offers on chic and fabulous styles every week when you shop. Get Prada, Lacoste, Michael Kors, Toscana, Carolina Herrera, Converse, and much more. And with Ready Finance, you'll get it today and pay absolutely nothing until March 2020. It's 12 days of amazing deals this Christmas. Only at Quartz Optical. Value you can see. Special conditions apply. SVG TV International News segment sponsored in part by Careers Distribution Limited. For over 60 years, we have sought only the best beans grown in the lush hills of the Andean Mountains of Colombia. Co Cafe. We carefully select only the very best beans and roast them to delicious perfection by our experienced roast masters. Co Cafe. Co Cafe treats you to one of the finest coffees in the world. Available in classic and decaffeinated. A rich flavor and aroma that can only come from 100% Colombian coffee. Cold Cafe. Indulge yourself in our delicious cappuccinos available in classic mocha and French vanilla. Enjoy them hot to warm your soul or cool to cool you down. Either way, they are incredibly satisfying. So go ahead, enjoy Cold Cafe and treat yourself. Welcome to the international news. In India, a controversial citizenship bill has passed through its first stage in Parliament. The proposed law is geared towards granting citizenship to those fleeing religious persecution, but it excludes Muslims. Some say it is the governing Hindu Nationalist Party's latest attempt at sidelining Muslims in India. We hear more in this report. <laughs> Ali says his wife committed suicide while he was being held in a detention center accused of being an illegal migrant. He says his son lost his shop because of the stigma attached to being a member of what's considered to be an outsider's family. And that he himself is often so depressed 
he thinks he may have lost his mind. I can't think properly now. I can't. Life in the detention center was very hard. The names of both Ali and his son are missing from the National Register of Citizens, a list of who is and isn't an Indian in the state of Assam. Many other Muslims are also worried they may be forced into statelessness. Especially as the Indian government takes the citizenship amendment bill through parliament. The bill says that Hindus, Christians, Sikhs, Jains, Buddhists and Parsis who faced religious persecution in Afghanistan, Pakistan and Bangladesh should be granted Indian citizenship. But it excludes Muslims. It is a moral duty of the Indian state to provide shelter to Hindus. If Hindus would not be given space in India, then where will they go? This is a, a Hindu nation. Thousands gathered to protest against the bill in several states in India describing it as a discriminatory legislation intended to target Muslims. And that's the news. Sports is just ahead, but before that, we take a look at the local weather forecast. Asfiji TV International News segment was sponsored in part by Careers Distribution Limited. Let's go! Turn up the fun! With Chocolisto and its great flavor, enriched with vitamins and minerals that help you grow. Chocolisto makes you big and strong. The weather report sponsored in part by General Hardware, Budge Mart Limited. Listen, the big hardware stores have been ripping off Vincentians for years with their high prices. They <laughs> General Hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices, but they still can't beat the General. So, don't let them fool you. General Hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood, and steel. And even with a sale, the General beats that too. So, go on, compare prices. Then come to General Hardware and save dollars every day. Because nobody beats the general. Nobody. General Hardware Supplies, located next to Yvette's Pork City in Arnesville. Call 453-9000. Budge Mart's big sellout is back and still has the best deals. Baguette bread pans, now only $29.95. Five-piece cake pan set was $84.90, now $63.70. Four-piece non-stick cake pan set was $55, now $39.60. Three-piece non-stick pan set was $29.20, now $21.90. Short motion bins was $297.55, now $223.15. Six-piece aluminum pot set was $450, now $350. Tall motion bin was $423.64, now $317.75. Real deals, real savings, and no gimmicks. When every dollar counts, shop at Budgemont. And now for local weather forecast, present conditions cloudy and breezy, winds east-northeast at 15 km per hour, temperature 26.8 degrees Celsius, relative humidity 80%. Barometric pressure 1012.8 millibars, 24 hour rainfall 0.9 millimeters. Today's maximum temperature 28.8 degrees Celsius, today's minimum temperature 24.8 degrees Celsius. Sunset today at 5.38 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow at 6.16 a.m. The forecast, partly cloudy and breezy, becoming cloudy at times with a few showers. And our synopsis, a weak shear line will be affecting the island. The weather report was sponsored in part by General Hardware, Budge Mart Limited. Budge Mart's big sellout is back and still has the best deals. Baguette bread pans, now only $29.95. Five-piece cake pan set was $84.90, now $63.70. Four-piece non-stick cake pan set was $55, now $39.60. Three-piece non-stick pan set was $29.20, now $21.90. Short motion bins was $297.55, now $223.15. Six-piece aluminum pot set was $450, now $350. Tall motion bin was $423.64, now $370. 1775. Real deals, real savings, and no gimmicks. When every dollar counts, shop at Budgemont.
from the Frisco family to yours. Tourism has many benefits to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It creates growth and a boost in economic activities, infrastructure development, job creation, entrepreneurship, and is a source of foreign exchange earnings. Supermarkets and vendors, bars, restaurants, taxis, tour guides, hotels, service providers, and many more all benefit directly from income gained through the tourism industry. Taxes collected from visitors to our country help St. Vincent's economy and its growth. Tourism is everyone's business. Live it, love it, embrace it. Tourism is everyone's business, yeah. Live it, love it, embrace it. <laughs> Welcome to the evening sports. Lyndall Simmons guided West Indies to an 8th wicket thumping of India in the second 2020 International in India, setting up a series decider in Mumbai on Wednesday. Simmons finished unbeaten on 67 from 45 balls, having received able support from Evan Lewis, 40, Shimron Hetmeyer, 23, and the returning Nicholas Puran, 38 not out, as the Windies reached a target of 171 with nine deliveries unused. Shivam Dube had earlier compiled the maiden half century for the host, impressing with 54 from 30 balls after being surprisingly promoted to number three, yet Virat Kohli's men were ultimately overpowered as West Indies hit 12 sixes to India's five. Many of the big-name West Indies T20 players, including Andre Russell and Dwayne Bravo, have been axed from their teams in the Pakistan Super League ahead of its February 2020 start during Saturday's draft in Lahore. Bravo was listed among the players released by his side Creator Gladiators, along with Dwayne Smith. Bravo, however, is still recovering from a broken hand. Russell, who was listed as unavailable for 2020, was released by his side Moulton Sultans along with Nicholas Puran and Johnson Charles, while Allen was retained with the franchise's 17th draft pick. Other West Indians to face the chopping block include former Windies T20 captain Carlos Brathwaite and Chadwick Walton. The current Windies T20 captain Kieran Pollard faced no such ignominy as he was retained in the platinum round of the draft but lost teammates in Andre Fletcher and Lyndall Simmons. Peshawar Zalmi have also retained Darren Sami as a player mentor. The RSVG Police Youth Club is the winner of the inaugural Otis Jack Champions Cup after defeating Central Leeward Secondary School last Thursday evening at the Victoria Park. The Champions of Champions events involved the top four football teams at the secondary and college level. In the matchup of the Otis Jack Cup, Shamal Reed sent Central, win Central Leeward ahead in the 30th minute, but a rejuvenated RSVG Police Youth Club came out in the second half and had goals from Dequan Springer and Dennis Patterson in the 50th and 70th minutes, respectfully, to secure the win. The evening sports will continue in a moment. Stay with us. Life is measured in moments. Make the most of them. Woodbridge by Robert Mondavi.
festive holiday joy is flowing early this year. Have yourself a merry little Massey Christmas. Enter with every $50 spent and you can win amazing prizes such as a luxurious, comfortable and ultimately relaxing cruise for two with all-inclusive paid flight. Set sail to explore and discover the beautiful gems of the Caribbean. One island at a time. Bon voyage and travel in style and sophistication. Upward a majestic cruise of a lifetime. And wait, there's more. This Christmas, exciting prizes such as a shopping spree with the value of $500. But don't worry, consolation prizes include weekly ham and turkey giveaways. Check out our Facebook page for more chances to win. See press and in store for more details. Happy holidays from Massey Stores. Our family serving your family. Why not just go to Gibson's Building Supplies? Here at Gibson's, it doesn't matter if you're building, renovating, or just shopping to improve your home. Because this Christmas, Gibson's Building Supplies has all that you need. With 25% off selected doors and tiles, 20% off paint, and 15% off store-wide. Many more deals to come. So why feel like this? when you can feel like this. So come on in to Gibson's Building Supplies today. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Season greetings from the management and staff of j, &J Customs and Shipping. We'd like to say thank you to our loyal value customers who make our Agency number one, we are ready to serve you for the year, upcoming year 2020. Merry Christmas from the management and staff of J&J &J Customs and Shipping Agency. Shot for life is back again, your favorite gym. Win house and land, SUV plus 50 grand. 50, 50 and 25 grand, Whoa. second and third prize in your hand. Yeah. December 28th, set for life. Check the Lotto machine, get set for 2019. Set for life. Live all of your dreams, be your winner, turn your keys. Set for life. This holiday season, it's the perfect time of the year to spend with the ones you love and show them exactly how you feel. Making the most of the season. So where do you find all you need to make this season the best one ever? It's Quartz, actually. Bringing value home. Tis the season for spreading love, cheer, and Christmas at Careers Pharmacy. We've got gift sets, beauty products, perfumes, and colognes, household items, the best liquor, cards, gift wrapping paper, decorations, and they have so many cool toys! Wow! Yay! Yes, we even have toys, and kids get a chance to win their dream toy in our kids' wishing well. Avoid the hustle and bustle and get everything you need for the season at Career City Store. Because Christmas is at Carrera's Pharmacies. 26 retail shops and restaurants open now for your convenience. At the cruise ship terminal, at the cruise ship terminal. It's a great venue to rent for function, secure parking great ambiance. At the cruise ship terminal, at the cruise ship terminal. Convenient parking at the Kingston Cruise Ship Terminal and the Geese Compound. The Kingstown Cruise Ship Terminal has 26 retail shops and restaurants with a variety of food offerings. A great secure venue for your function with a great ambience. Also, we offer lock storage service. The Cruise Ship Terminal, convenience for you. At the Cruise Ship Terminal, the Cruise Ship Terminal. Welcome back. The new executive of the SBG Football Federation is now complete following the elections of the additional five members at an extraordinary general meeting held last Saturday. 
The committee members elected are Dwight Batiste, Rosalo Mackey, Otnell Douglas, James Brown, and Yosari Descent. The five will join President Carl Dixon, First Vice President Otashi Spring, Second Vice President Wayne Grant, and Third Vice President Dwight Roberts, who were elected at the Federation's 2019 general meeting. The executive will serve for the term 2019 to 2024. Vitamal's Ministry of Education Teachers Combined defeated the Ministry of Tourism, Sports and Culture 5150. In a closely contested knockout final of the Films and Industrial Netball Championship night at the Kingston Netball Centre in New Montrose, Vitamal's Ministry of Education Teachers Combined won the league title earlier in the season. Moef Games of Vitamal's Ministry of Education Teachers Combined was adjudged the most valuable player of the championship. And that's how we end sports this evening. We'll be right back to wrap things up. We at the New Haven Funeral Home are indeed grateful for your support over the last year. We're thankful for the opportunity to have served you in your time of need. And as we celebrate this Christmas season, we pray that we not forget those among us who are less fortunate. But most of all, we pray that we not forget the reason for the season, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas from the New Haven Funeral Home. A unique upholstery, quality at a low cost. We build to suit your needs. Contact us at Redemption Shafts 4570182 or Stony Grounds 4532089. Still going to town for hardware? hardware? No, you don't need to. <laughs> Pinchers Hardware in Pembroke. It's your one-stop shop for all your hardware needs. We stock building materials, blocks, sand, and stones. Also plumbing and electrical fittings. We have automotive supplies too. And to make things easy, we will deliver to your location. Come on in or simply call us at 458-7591 or 533-1576. We are open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Pinchers Hardware, located in Pembroke, where quality meets price. There's a reason you get up on a morning. A reason you pick yourself up, start the day. Maybe it's sheer grit. Maybe it's your ethics. Maybe it's because you know people like you are waiting for people just like you. We all have our reasons, and for Republic Bank, that reason is you. Every little thing, every big thing, it's all about making a difference in your life. Because after 182 years, if it's one thing we're sure about, is that the difference is you. We're here to help. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. It's 12 days of amazing deals this Christmas at Quartz Optical. Get different offers on chic and fabulous styles every week when you shop. Get Prada, Lacoste, Michael Kors, Toscana, Carolina Herrera, Converse, and much more. And with Ready Finance, you'll get it today and pay absolutely nothing until March 2020. It's 12 days of amazing deals this Christmas. Only at Quartz Optical. Value you can see. Special conditions apply. And now for a second look at the headlines. Celebrity Silhouette makes inaugural call to Port Kingston. CEO of Tourism Authority says it is part of ongoing effort to get more cruise lines to SVG. Dominica's Prime Minister sworn into office for a fourth consecutive term as opposition party says it will not recognize election results. India's new citizenship amendment bill sparks uproar, and in sports, Simmons anchors chase as West Indies level T20 international series against India. On behalf of all of us here at SVG TV, thanks for viewing. I am Yvesta Boynes. Don't forget to visit our Facebook page for a recap of the news and daily headlines. Also tune in for SVG TV's News in 15 at 12.45 p.m. weekdays. Have a good evening.
quality products, quality care, low prices, great customer service, all at QCare Pharmacy. QCare leads the way, providing all your pharmaceutical needs, a variety of personal care products, and so much more. Located on Halifax Street, telephone number 451-2690, QCare Pharmacy, where the Q stands for quality. Listen, the big hardware stores have been ripping off Vincentians for years with their high prices. They are doing general hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices, but they still can't beat the general. So, don't let them fool you. General hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood, and steel. And even with a sale, the general beats that too. So, go on, compare prices. Then come to general hardware and save dollars every day. Because nobody beats the general. Nobody. General Hardware Supplies, located next to Yvette's Pork City in Arnesville. Call 453-9000. Oh, God, you have a gift for me? Is this a regalo? Todo este gran regalo? Is it a car? To open this gift, just give that phone a little shake. Shake it, shake it, that's right. This holiday season, it's the perfect time of the year to spend with the ones you love and show them exactly how you feel. Making the most of the season. So where do you find all you need to make this season the best one ever? It's Quartz, actually. Bringing value home. is bringing you the best Christmas deal. Unwrap great prepaid deals like the ZTE Blade A3 Lite for $99 with a 7-day always-on plan purchase. Plus, get a free gift. Amazing postpaid deals start with a Samsung Galaxy A10s at $149 plus a medium postpaid plan with unlimited weekend minutes to talk, talk, and 